Anne-Marie Maffedon, CEO of Stemets, author of She's in Control um, and chair of a couple of charities. Um, and happy International Women's Day. Uh, I'm answering some questions for you. Well, first of all, uh, I make sure I know that they are gender specific rather than being more generic or even more personal to the person that I'm engaging with. I think it's good to be uh, well researched, good to be listening uh, to different um, outlets around kind of gender and how that plays out in workplaces. And then I talk to mentors. I read books, I listen, listen to podcasts, I experiment a little. Um, I draw my own knowledge and the experience of others to then approach and solve those problems as they come up. And um with delicacy, with patience, um, with uh, wisdom, I guess, is, what I, is how I approach it. Um, I think there's three ingredients to this. First off is we need to ensure that we're leaning into the creativity of these STEM careers. That means the options that folks have um, to explore problems that we're solving, to work with tools, to um, apply different fields of knowledge and take an interdisciplinary approach. I think so much of what we have going on in STEM fields and in the current narrative is about very narrow, very very like tightly defined options. Whereas actually when we talk about creativity and the fact that, you know, if you want to go to the moon to build and 3D print a house, like that's the kinds of things that we're working on. So creativity is part one. Second is altruism. A lot of the times when we talk about STEM fields, it's harder, faster, bigger, stronger. And we don't focus on the people that we're helping, right? On the safety that comes from doing STEM properly, on you know the, the anti-evil genius, right? The antidote that we're able to create and we're able to lean into and the problems that we're able to solve using that STEM knowledge. So I think that um, is one way to encourage. And then the third part is the diversity. There are so many different options that you have stepping into the STEM field. And if we add in the A, the STEM and the, the STEAM field, and so it's really, really important for us to talk about the options, the things that don't exist yet, that will exist, how quickly this is moving. And the fact that if you go back far enough, app developers didn't exist, but there were people that stood up bowling pins at bowling alleys. And so STEM fields is about creativity. It's about altruism and it is about diversity. So the qualities I'd say that help progress are those of being able to communicate, those of being able to understand, those of being able to express, but also kind of ask questions to, to kind of build that expression of, of others and those who are able to genuinely collaborate and work together. Like there's nothing that's been built in isolation with someone just doing on their own. Even if they're physically on their own, they're standing on the shoulders of giants, of the history, and the herstory. And so anyone that's able to synthesize, pull those together, communicate with others, empathize and understand is someone that is really innovating and building something fantastic using STEM. Now, the best piece of advice I've ever received in my STEM career is that people are messy. Um, they're not uh, algorithms or super, super logical. They are human. And where we do a lot of rational things, not everything is rational and not every experience is rational. And so I think the best piece of advice is, yeah, Amory, people are messy. I'm going to say hello to you today. I'm going to say hello to you tomorrow. And I will get two different responses, even though two plus two is four. And those values are two today and two plus two will be four tomorrow. I'd like to see initiatives where we look at equal pay and we pay people properly according to the roles that they have. We also promote them more fairly. But also I'd like to see policies like those outlined in uh, resources like the Tech Talent Charter that ensure that we have policies that recognise that not everybody is that is that narrow default norm in our tech spaces and beyond. And whether that's someone who's a single parent who might need childcare paid for alongside the policies that we have around hotels being reimbursed, whether that's policies that we have like a flexible working policies, we at Stemets have a four day work week, and that's something that we're able to flex as well around folks uh, who have different kind of caring responsibilities and such, or whether it's actually enforcing folks having proper paternity pay so that then across the system shared parental leave genuinely makes sense and shared caring leave because not everyone's a parent but most folks uh, may need to do some caring responsibilities at points in their life I think there's a lot that we should do around um, not even the edges right a lot that we should do in our policies to ensure that we recognize what different experiences and different um, life um, scenarios mean and how those are played out and supported or not by the policies that we've got embedded across our workplaces. So lots there to chew on for this International Women's Day.